Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. So all of you know, right, that Stephen A. Smith is the undisputed uh, face of ESPN. Before, in the past, it used to be Skip Bayless. I think a lot of us consider Skip to be the number one guy. But ever since Skip, Skip, Skip Bayless's departure from the network, it's now Stephen A. Smith because he's the face of the biggest show, right? And we all know that ESPN is the biggest sports media company in the world. Let's just face it. And given the fact they are the biggest platform, it means that whether you like it or not, Stephen A. Smith has the biggest voice in sports. One of the biggest knocks on Stephen A. Smith as it pertains to this particular topic is that he has a history of being hypercritical of black athletes and not being as critical or as quick to jump up and throw criticism um, you know, white athletes when they do things. This has been one of the criticisms out there. Now, to be fair, I don't have 100 percent ev evidence of this because people can say, well, there is there was this instance, there was that instance. And I don't know all of the different instances in which one can point to and say, hey, look, you see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Right? I don't I don't I don't keep a I don't keep a <laughs> I don't keep a record of it. But recently. There was a story that came out with uh, Aaron Rodgers where he basically lied about his immunization status and it created a firestorm. And as you all know that Jay Williams, the former NBA player, he's one of the faces and one of the voices at ESPN. So in one of the segments, Jay Williams came out to basically, you know, call Stephen A. Smith to the carpet and say, hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? You're always going hard at Kyrie Irving, and I'm not hearing you, you know, go at this guy with the same level, you know, fervor and, you know, ferocity and all of these different things. And funny enough, Jay Williams has been one of the few voices out there that have, that have been publicly defending Kyrie Irving. So during this exchange that we want to play for you guys, I want you guys to kind of take a listen to Jay Williams, essentially calling Stephen A. Smith to the carpet in a respectful way, right? So for those of you guys who maybe missed this exchange, I want you guys to take a listen to this. Listen to Jay Williams kind of make his point to Stephen A. Smith, and then we'll come back here and give you guys our thoughts. So take a listen to that. Can I have a single shot? Can sure. I request a single shot like you first? Sure. Like, I want everybody to know Stephen A. Smith is the best in the game of television. He is the best in the game of television. I wanted to say that first off, S.A., because I watched you when you opened the show. I know who you are. I know when you get passionate about things. I know when you say things with conviction. Your star, your opening line of the show was, you know, Aaron Rodgers, my guy, I man, and this, ah, you know, it's tough. It's my guy. He's, he's a liar. So it's not just what you say, because you did call him a liar, but, brother, how you say things matter. So when I hear you spit venom with energy and passion, and when I hear you say that oh, he's a liar, I wouldn't have said it like that. Because if I put myself in Stephen A. Smith's body, I would have said he looked people in the eye and he lied. He flat out lied. He said, yes, I am immunized. I am. And then I feel, you know, I understand people, those guys, not referring to himself as one of those guys, those guys. He was one of those guys. So that energy that you start a conversation with, it matters to people like me. Because know why? You set the tone for this network for thousands of people that watch you. I think that's important. Can you understand that point? That's yes, one. Okay. Number okay. two, on the Kyrie Irving stuff. Kyrie Irving didn't even say anything for the longest time. He didn't say anything. This man just disappeared. And every day, it was Kyrie this, Kyrie that, Kyrie this, Kyrie that. And I get it when he finally spoke. He didn't have the right words. It didn't come out the right way. But damn, the intent was there. So now my thing is, when I'm watching this, and I'm watching all this other stuff happen, here I was, I watched a man that came out and flat out lied. <sighs> With intent. Lied. This is how I feel. And I watched Kyrie kind of waver, go back and forth. I'm like, but man, we just chastised this dude for wavering. But this man is lying. And I just want to make sure we keep the same energy. That's all I ask for. I want the same, I want exponential energy, actually. I want more energy than what you gave Kyrie, because that's deserving of it. Now, after listening to that soundbite, you know, Jay Williams made a few points, a few strong points, and I read through some of the comments, right, and some of the videos, and a lot of people seem to con seem to be congratulating, well, you know, uh, Jay Williams and thanking him for what he said. But basically, he said, listen, Stephen A. Smith, you're the undisputed biggest voice in sports, right? You're the biggest voice. And people will react to things based on how they see you react to things. The way you say things tends to influence the way people feel about certain subject matters and the, you know, the people that are being you know, connected to these different issues, right? He made that point. He said, the way you say things 
matter? He said that. He basically asked them, he said, listen, why aren't you keeping this same level of intensity, this same energy with Aaron Rodgers, who clearly lied the same way you constantly keep the same energy? And in some cases, it seems as if a little bit of anger towards Kyrie Irving. And to me, I think that's a fair point. That's a fair question, right? That is a fair question. He does have a right to ask that question. I'm sure a lot of people who watch Stephen A. Smith being critical of Kyrie would ask that same question. Here on Dreamers Pro, we've done some videos where people disagree with us. They say, listen, I don't like this, this point of view. I don't like this take this stand that you took, blah, 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 blah. But the one thing that people in our audience understand about us is that, listen, these guys are going to tell us what they think and they're going to try to be as consistent as possible. That's one of the reoccurring comments we get on this channel. This guy is being fair. Now, sometimes all of us are not perfect. Some guys, sometimes people say, listen, you're being a little bit too biased towards the Clippers. That's totally understandable. For, but, but for the most part, I think people tend to feel as if we call it the way we see it, right? We're not picking sides or whatever it is. If we see something that we don't agree with, we'll call it out. And whether if some people agree, that's great. If they don't. So people kind of understand that about us. In this particular instance, I feel as if Jay Williams is asking a question like, wait a minute, man. You're always going hard at Kyrie and all these other players. Why aren't you going hard at, you know, this particular dude? Y'all remember people make the comment about, you know, the joke, you know, ever since, uh, uh, you know, um, what's the guy when, when Max Kellerman and Stephen A. Smith, uh, Terrell Owens made the comment about, hey, it's Mac Black and he, that was the end of, you know, there's this kind of thing kind of circulating in the background. So the first the, the first point is that's a fair question. Right. But this, this is my bigger point. This is my bigger question. Was Jay by Jay Williams directly calling out Stephen A. Smith for his lack of consistency? Will that cost him a spot on ESPN First Take? That's really what I'm thinking about, because let's be honest, uh, Stephen A. Smith will remove people that he's threatened by or people he just doesn't like. You don't need to go too far to look at Max Kellerman. He didn't like Max. He didn't think he was the guy, the right guy for the job. Max Kellerman is gone, right? Lou Williams, I mean, not Lou Williams, Jay Williams and these other guests that come on the show, Michael Irvin. Kendrick Perkins and others, they are like, you know, they come in at different points of the show. They, they're, they're not a they're not a constant on the show. Will Jay Williams be, you know, will he get in trouble for the way he called out? Because basically he was calling him out on live TV. Basically. Now, Stephen A. Smith took it in stride, but I'm sure maybe in the background he was like, bro, don't ever do that. From the way it looks as if from the way it looks like, you know, from the outside looking in. It looks as if, it seems as if that Stephen A. Smith is the man that, you know, he's the head of that ship. He's the one that you don't want to cross. He's the boss of things. And everybody seems to kind of pull straight towards him and, you know, pay homage to him. That's the way it seems. That's the way it's, it seems as if he's clearly the big wig and these people tend to, you know, capitulate to him. And uh, I just wonder if Jay Williams is going to get into, you know, will it be... Will he be reprimanded? Will he be disciplined for what he did? Um, I don't know. But what I want to know from you guys is what do you think about Jay Williams comments with the whole Stephen, you know, with Kyrie Irving and Aaron Rodgers point? Do you think he's going to be reprimanded for it? Or do you think, listen, everything will be fine. It's something that Stephen A. Smith will respect that this guy's giving him his honest take. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day and catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.